Welcome! I'm Caitlin McKenna with the Greatest Moves team of Remax Advantage. If you're watching this video, you're probably moving to the Baltimore area or you've been living downtown and you're ready for a little upgrade. You're looking in some of the higher end neighborhoods, but you want to stay inside of the city, but you want that kind of suburban feel. And you're wondering, what's the difference between Roland Park and Guilford? I can tell you that as a person who was born and raised in Baltimore, I had no idea that these were two different neighborhoods until I started working in real estate, which may seem silly, but there are a lot of similarities, but there are also a few differences, including that they are in two different places. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what makes them different, show you where they are on the map, and tell you about a few things that I love about the neighborhoods. All right, let's do it. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the difference between these two neighborhoods, I'll tell you a little bit just about where they fall inside of Baltimore in the bigger picture. So on this map, you can see 83 runs down through the center of Baltimore, and then 695 comes across the top and goes all the way around the city. Now the city line is actually a little square inside of this circle. so all of both of these neighborhoods fall inside of the city even though they have a much more suburban feel now i'm going to show you what i used to think was roland park which is kind of funny because like i said i'm from this area i have friends who lived in this area i never knew so i used to think that roland park was this entire area which turns out is also Guilford, Homeland, Keswick, Roland Park. Like there are a bunch of different neighborhoods that fall inside of that area, but we live and we learn. We'll start with Guilford. So Guilford is this little blue square here. One of the things that makes Guilford different from Roland Park is the architecture. So in this neighborhood, you'll find much larger homes like mansion style homes they're more like classical revival italian revival lots of um, really really grand architecture most of the community is built around this little garden here you've got sherwood gardens and the guilford mansion which is attached which is the original estate that established the neighborhood this neighborhood and roland park and a few other neighborhoods in baltimore as well as Patterson Park and Central Park were all designed by Frederick Olmsted, who was very famous in his time and much of his work has lived on and impacts us all still today. So one of the things that he was really big on was preserving the nature around. So he would build streets around large trees, which makes the neighborhood feel a lot quieter because you would never cut through the neighborhood because they're windy and weird and that would be inefficient. So there's not a lot of through traffic through these neighborhoods, which is a great thing. And there's an element of continuity. There's this like meticulous level of attention to detail to just about everything in these neighborhoods. And there's a real sense of community, like the people who live here take a lot of pride in where they live. And most of those things that I just said are also true about Roland Park. The architecture is really the big difference and the slight difference in location. So this orange box here, we can see is actually Roland Park. It's bordered by Falls Road here. Um, and then they both touch Cold Spring. That's their <laughs> common road that they share. I won't call any of the houses in Roland Park small because they're not by any stretch of the imagination, but they are slightly more modest than the homes in Guilford. You'll find more like Tudor and craftsman style homes, still the same meticulous level of attention to detail and the focus on nature and bringing the outside in and respect for the natural elements of the neighborhood. So there are just a couple things in the area that I want to talk about specifically as far as restaurants and amenities. This is one of the things that makes it kind of confusing which neighborhood is which because there aren't a ton of walkable amenities 
for either of these neighborhoods, depending of course on what you consider to be walkable. But these neighborhoods share many of the same amenities. Like if you live in Guilford, you're gonna go to eat at the same places that you would if you lived in Roland Park. One of the shared amenities that I would consider is the Eddies of Roland Park. That is a small, gourmet high-end grocery store. This is where you do your grocery shopping if you live there. Next is uh, Petite Louis, which is a staple of the neighborhood. It's a high-end French restaurant run by the Foreman and Wolf Group, which is also responsible for the Charleston, Jingale, the Milton Inn, just to name a few. Um, they have a spectacular reputation for delivering quality every time. Another favorite is Miss Shirley's. Um, I've been going there since I was a little kid. They have this breakfast sandwich. I think it's called the Southern Slammer. And it has fried green tomatoes and a fried egg and bacon and it's on pumpernickel bread. And it is my favorite breakfast sandwich of all of the breakfast sandwiches. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. And one of the other things we already talked about just a little bit, um, but I feel like it's worth highlighting again, Sherwood Gardens is just a magnificent resource for this area. They do all kinds of events in this park. They plant literally thousands and thousands of tulips every year. And if you have not had the opportunity to go and see the tulips in bloom, I definitely recommend it. I used to go to this park on a weekly basis with my grandmother and play in the park and walk around and look at the houses. So it's really like a magical experience, yeah. <laughs> The last thing that I want to talk about that's definitely a shared resource for both of these neighborhoods is all of the private schools. And those are kind of situated um, right next to Roland Park, north of Guilford. So in this little block right here, you have five different private schools. So you have the Roland Park Country School, Gilman, Bryn Mawr, Cathedral, and Friends. And those are like, if you live in one of these neighborhoods and you have kids, it's likely that you send your kids to one of these schools. And they're fantastic resources. I actually coach at Friends and it's a very, very, very cool community. So that's a little bit about the difference between those two neighborhoods. If you have any questions about the difference between those two neighborhoods or any of the other surrounding areas in Baltimore or Baltimore County, I am a licensed realtor in the state of Maryland and I would love to help you out. And if you have a favorite home in one of these neighborhoods, please tell me about it in the comments below. I would love to hear. And if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Okay, thank you so much for watching.